This is exactly what big trees are for. The sheep have not been shorn yet. Uh, I don't know where all it'll be in the queue for the shearing this year. So having these big trees, like this big chestnut tree and this beech tree, to shelter the full fleeced sheep is a huge blessing. They also add to the biodiversity, the bird life, the insect life. And they also contribute to the grass in drought times because sheltered under the tree, the best herbs and grasses can be grazed and keep growing. So that is what I like to see and why we've kept all our trees. This line of beech trees that go along here were probably planted by my great, 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 potentially even great grandfather. I'm picking up uh, electric fence stakes to do uh, the staking for the horse paddocks because they don't get a full field. They only get to graze a certain amount. But these beech trees would be about 200 years. And that was when our family started renting here. We didn't own here until 1850. That was when our family bought this farm. Before that, it was a rented land. You can see these old walls. This would have been an old hedgerow embankment. One day I'd love to slowly restore these because a lot of them, as you can see, are falling down. But it's a very traditional kind of thing to level up the field. So that was the top field over there that we call the wind charger. And this is uh, the upper avenue field or driveway field, whatever you want to call it. So that's a little bit of information about where I'm staking out for the horses. So there's, you can see I've started laying out the stakes going across this little bit of the field. The horses follow the sheep in uh, their grazing pattern. So fencing today is the job for today, or electric fencing is the job for today. As all these ladies have a lovely coolness in the shade 